The U.S. Navy is on the verge of a major leap in carrier aviation as the Pentagon has authorized the service to select a contractor for its next-generation F-AXX stealth fighter. This milestone comes after months of uncertainty surrounding budget allocations and program timelines, signaling a renewed commitment to modernizing the nation's carrier air wing for the increasingly contested skies of the Indo-Pacific. The Navy's decision to move forward with the F-AXX program underscores the strategic importance of maintaining technological superiority over potential adversaries and ensuring that future carrier strike groups retain the ability to project power across vast distances. The F-AXX is designed to replace the F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornet beginning in the 2030s, representing a quantum leap in capabilities over the current fleet. Boeing and Northrop Grumman are reportedly the finalists for the contract, with an official announcement expected imminently. The Navy's approach is deliberate, aiming to preserve continuity while pushing the boundaries of modern air combat technology. Unlike the incremental upgrades that characterized previous fighter programs, the F-AXX embodies a holistic redesign focused on extended range, survivability, and integrated digital networking. Its development reflects a broader trend in military aviation toward systems that can operate as the central hub of a distributed, manned-unmanned combat ecosystem. At the core of the F-AXX's design philosophy is the emphasis on stealth and range. The aircraft will feature very low observable shaping and internal weapons bays, allowing it to penetrate contested airspace while minimizing exposure to enemy sensors. A larger fuel fraction compared to the Super Hornet will extend the operational reach of carrier air wings, allowing them to engage targets far beyond the reach of contemporary anti-ship and anti-air systems. This range advantage is crucial for operations in the Western Pacific, where vast distances and the proliferation of long-range missile threats demand aircraft capable of conducting missions from standoff positions while retaining the ability to strike decisively when necessary. Equally transformative is the F-AXX's role as the quarterback of the carrier air wing. The aircraft is being designed to coordinate with Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCAs, the MQ-25 refueling drone, and other manned and unmanned assets in real time. Advanced AI-driven networking will allow the fighter to allocate targets, manage decoys and electronic warfare assets, and optimize the performance of the entire strike package. This capability reflects a significant shift from traditional fighter operations, where individual aircraft operate largely independently. By orchestrating a fleet of complementary systems, the F-AXX is intended to compress the kill chain and complicate adversary targeting, giving U.S. carrier groups a decisive edge in complex maritime operations. The Super Hornet remains a capable platform, with its AESA radar, multiple hardpoints, and incremental Block 3 improvements that emphasize networking and survivability. However, the F-AXX will surpass these capabilities by integrating high-bandwidth sensors, resilient data links, and open mission systems capable of fusing off-board intelligence in real time. This allows the aircraft to detect, track, and engage targets beyond the range of legacy strike fighters, while simultaneously directing drones and other supporting assets to expand situational awareness and lethality. The shift toward reach, sense, and team represents a fundamental rethinking of how carrier aviation can operate in the face of sophisticated anti-access area denial A2 -AD, threats. Armament for the F-AXX will likely prioritize internal carriage of next-generation air-to-air and air-to-surface weapons, including systems comparable to the AIM-260 class of Beyond Visual Range missiles. By keeping weapons internal, the aircraft maintains its low observable profile, enhancing survivability during deep penetration missions. External hardpoints will remain an option for permissive environments, but the focus is clearly on maximizing the fighter's ability to operate undetected in heavily contested areas. This approach contrasts with the Super Hornet's reliance on standoff weapons and support from tankers or electronic attack aircraft, providing the F-AXX with an organic capability to project force independently. 
The development of the F-AXX also highlights the Navy's commitment to integrating unmanned systems into carrier operations. Studies on carrier-compatible CCAs are already underway with multiple vendors, indicating that the fighter's ecosystem will be built around attritable adjuncts designed to extend magazine depth and enhance sensing capabilities. By embedding the ability to command unmanned platforms into the aircraft from the outset, the Navy is creating a flexible, scalable system that can adapt to evolving threats. This manned-unmanned teaming is a central element of the F-AXX's design philosophy and positions it as a force multiplier across a wide range of operational scenarios. Strategically, the F-AXX represents a recalibration of the Navy's approach to air dominance. While the Super Hornet balances survivability with payload, the F-AXX prioritizes the ability to penetrate enemy defenses, dominate the electromagnetic spectrum, and coordinate complex multi-asset operations. This transformation is particularly relevant given the growing sophistication of potential adversaries' anti-ship and air defense capabilities. By combining stealth, advanced sensors, and AI-assisted decision-making, the F-AXX enables carrier air wings to operate effectively at longer ranges, reducing vulnerability to enemy strikes while maintaining the initiative over contested maritime regions. The decision to advance the F-AXX program comes after a period of turbulence in Washington, where budgetary uncertainties and congressional oversight threatened to delay procurement. Despite these challenges, the Pentagon's authorization signals confidence in the program's strategic importance and technological readiness. Lockheed Martin, which had previously been part of the development competition, is no longer in the running, leaving Boeing and Northrop Grumman as the likely candidates. The Navy's focus remains on ensuring that the F-AXX enters service in time to complement the existing F-35C fleet and MQ-25 refueling drones, creating a layered, resilient carrier air wing capable of maintaining superiority in the Indo-Pacific theater. Looking ahead, the introduction of the F-AXX will fundamentally reshape carrier aviation doctrine. By extending reach, enhancing situational awareness, and integrating manned-unmanned operations, the fighter will allow U.S. forces to conduct simultaneous defensive and offensive missions with unprecedented efficiency. Carrier groups will be able to conduct defensive counter-air operations while directing long-range strikes against maritime targets, effectively compressing the engagement timeline and presenting adversaries with a complex and dynamic threat environment. This ability to orchestrate multi-domain operations from the flight deck represents a generational leap in combat capability, ensuring that the Navy remains capable of countering evolving challenges in the 2030s and beyond. In conclusion, the Navy's move to select a contractor for the F-AXX signals more than just a new fighter program, it reflects a strategic commitment to maintaining technological superiority in a contested global environment. With advanced stealth, extended range, AI-driven coordination, and integration with unmanned systems, the F-AXX is poised to redefine carrier air wing operations and secure the U.S. Navy's ability to project power across the Indo-Pacific. As Boeing and Northrop Grumman await the official decision, the stakes are clear, without this next-generation platform, the Navy risks ceding initiative to adversaries equipped with long-range strike capabilities. The F-AXX represents a decisive step toward ensuring that U.S. carrier aviation remains agile, lethal, and ready to dominate the future battlefield.